Hello, before diving deep into this video, I'm showing you already the map in here, which is also available on the link from this video description below, which you can click over to zoom in to see better the markers for a detailed view of the locations from the baby animals I found through the whole map of the Isle of Sipta. I put a lot of time to explore the map, finding the animals and placing the markers in this map in order to help you finding your future pets. Of course, it's always better for you to find things by your own, because the surprise is something much more exciting. There are a few things you should know about when it comes to find the baby animals, before you go out for an adventure. The babies won't spawn with the parents all the time, so you'll need to keep checking the areas where they usually spawn in until that happens. Sadly not all of them spawned for me while I was recording this video, but they already did before. Just keep going back to these locations, or go try finding them in other locations if that's possible. Animals keep roaming around the place, so they are not necessarily in the exact areas I'm showing you, but they may be in the areas nearby. However, never too far. Sometimes for them to respawn, the adult species from the area must die for a chance of the babies to respawn, or you can always wait for the server to restart. If you're playing in single player mode though, just restart the game, one or another time it may work, or just come back later often. It's not easy to find certain animal babies all the time. Keep an eye on big groups of animals, but also on adult lone animals like wolves or bears, or even animal couples, sometimes their cubs may be close. Also, some babies or eggs are only available through boss killing or purchasing from NPC merchants. We'll check those out later in this video. I've noticed that a few eggs at least or even some calves from even elephants or rhinos, if my memory doesn't fail, okay, correct me if I'm wrong, can be even found through some late shrine surges, alright? So let's get to the locations now, shall we? Alright, the foals are the first animals that I like to show you where to find at, since horses are very useful pets, because you can mount them to travel faster and even helping you once come across with enemies after all. Rhinoceros are just another kind of pets that can be also very useful, but be aware of the fact that not every rhinoceros is rideable. 
and at times you may come across with tusk beast calves that are pretty much rhinoceros on steroids. Now that I'm mentioning big sized animals, let's take a look at the elephants. Try looking for calves around the areas where the elephant population is high, since there are bigger chances one or another is going to pop around here. Sometimes it's not easy to find the babies, I uh, trust me, it took me a long time, a lot of trials to find elephant babies. Yeah, it took me. <laughs> you can find a good amount of bear cubs around the forest. The wolf cub, much more rare to find than bears, but still pretty possible. By talking on wolves, Ard wolf cubs can be found in some places of the map. They are just hyena cousins.
Let's not forget about their other cousins, the feral dog pups. Come here, puppy. Dogs aside, let's look for the kittens now, starting with the ferocious saber-toothed kitten. There's a specific location for this one, usually you may even find two cubs spawning most of the time in the same location. Now let's check out where are the little jungle claw cubs hiding at. Jungle claws are pretty much another version of the tigers you'll find back in the exile lands. about the island lynx cubs. I'd like to mention that one of the merchant NPCs by the camp of the castaways is also selling a lynx cub if you don't feel like taming a feral cat. A way less dangerous creature, the fawn. The little boar showed. Once you put your feet on the sand, it is likely that you may come across with some crocodile hatchlings. Or you can always opt for an even uglier but interesting creature, the Crested Lacerta Hatchling, which is, in other words, a strange looking alligator. But if you are more into having a completely harmless companion or a quick meal, you have plenty turtles eating sand at your disposal through several locations of the isle, always by the shore. Not everyone has the same tastes, and some of you may want scorpions, but you'll have to work for that. To obtain a scorpion egg sac, 
you'll need to kill an ancient scorpion queen boss, which will drop it. But this boss has a small chance of dropping eggs, so it may require from you a few trials. You may need to kill her sometimes until she drops some eggs. She may drop around 5 eggs at a time. Compared with the amount and chances of a lay shrine NPC drops, I believe that the Scorpion Queen boss is a much more reliable drop even though it requires from you, as I said before, a few trials until she drops the eggs. The Camel Calf, Spider Egg Sack, Rock Nose Egg and the Shoebill Egg can only be obtained by the Merchant NPCs at the camp of the Castaways up north of the map. Currently I haven't seen any other way of obtaining these pets, so prepare some coins to spend up here. Mountain Lion Cubs, Pelican Chicks or Gorilla Infants are the baby animals that I wasn't lucky enough to come across with after several trials. However, we should keep trying our luck to get this. There is a possibility that we can still have these as pets, since I've seen them in the admin panel spawning list. There is at least one possible location for the mountain lion cub and for the gorilla infant to spawn at, but I'm not sure about the pelican chick or if this one is really fully implemented yet. I've done this video between the beginning and the middle of October 2020, so things can still change. But we should keep looking for things. I always suggest keeping an eye in the locations where this animal species population is higher. Pelicans are seen in several places of the map. They are often fighting with other animals, so you'll spot them easily. Don't forget that anything in the Isle of Sita is subject to change and developers can change or add things to the map, but hopefully these animal spawns will remain this way. If you ever fall more baby animals locations, feel free to share them in the comment section. Don't forget that I'm sharing the detail map with the markers and legends on the link of the video description below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.